ますね。はははは。ああ、そう、すごいめ。It almost thinks you weren't happy to see me. Or at least, hear me. You've still got my soul. So I'll keep blindfold over your eyes. Haven't you? I'll cocoon in my sock. I only left your nose free so you can breathe on my perfume. And your ears free so I can play with them. <laughs> What is it, my little fly? Are you still upset I invited you into my parlor? You've got such a big frown on your face. Oh, I can't have that. I wonder what I can do about that. I seem to recall you being very. A clutch. And all the right poison. <laughs> Remember how much fun we had last night? <laughs> oh, my. Of course you do. You've stopped squirming. <sighs> I can almost smell the fear on you. <laughs> Oh, sweetie, but this is going to be so much fun. I bet I could get you to smile if I just run my fingers down your sides. Slowly trace them up down your ribs. Just like this. Uh, Can hear soft little giggles, but that just won't do. I want to hear you laughing. Tell me, little fly, did you ever have to go to the hospital because you had a chest injury? I feel like I should make sure you still have all your rabies. Very important thing, they. I'll just start counting them with my fingers. Let's see. Here's one little rabbit. A wonderful material, isn't it? Tough and inescapable. So a poor human got stuck in my sister's webs. Stay stuck until she frees him. If she frees him at all. <laughs> But it's also sad. Smooth and sulky. So very luxuriantly sulky. It somehow makes your skin even more ticklish. Isn't that amazing? 
I suppose I wouldn't think so if I were in your place Too bad for you But you're getting me all distracted again Where was I? Poor sides must be feeling so neglected. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'm here to take care of that. One side of Rebe, two side of Rebe. stop just yet. I need to make sure you have all your little ribby. I'm afraid I must be very thorough. Three little ribby. Tickle, tickle, little fly. <laughs> Four pairs of ribby. The fifth out of cute, ticklish little rabbies. It's six and seven on the Reminds me of a time I trapped you in my sock inside the girls' locker room. Oh, the other girls teased and tickled you so much as punishment. <laughs> you just couldn't stop laughing and getting all blushy. I almost felt bad for setting you up. Oh, well, not really. Those were such fun times. <sighs> Poor thing. Poor little thing. Don't worry. I'm a kind arachne. I'll give you a little break. It's okay. I've got you. You're all tied up in my sock. Got up close to your main, main bully. Nowhere to go but into her arms. <laughs>
just go around telling everyone I don't like you. You left me no choice but to bring you home and convince you of my affection. I don't like you, you say. I mean, you're wearing my clothes under this comfy little cocoon, aren't you? I put those on you, but that's just technicalities, honey. I made the pajamas you're wearing. From my own silk and your favorite color. You can't deny how comfortable and nice they feel. How absolutely precious you look in them. Clothes made of arachne silk are considered luxury items. Quite expensive. I'm often worn by women of high status. But we don't make clothes for men. Not commercially. Do you know why that is? Oh, you're still gagged. It's okay. It's okay. I'll tell you. It's because a man puts on the clothes one of my sisters made with her sock. He's accepting her proposal, he might say. It's his way of telling her, often unknowingly, that he is hers now. <laughs> and we always know when a man is wearing our clothes. There's nothing he can do once he puts them on. However, briefly, the arachne that spun them will come for him. And she will claim him as her mate. Do you get it now? You're mine. I may have been a little, shall we say, proactive in dating you, but it doesn't change anything. You're wearing my gloves, wrapped up snugly in my cocoon, trapped in my web. And what kind of spider would I be if I let such a cute little fly escape. Huh? <laughs> you know, honey, you really can't pretend some part of you doesn't want this. I've seen you staring at me in the cafeteria during lunch. I've told you before, you're welcome to join me and the other girls at our table, but you never do. You just sit there, alone on the corner, sneaking glances at me whenever you think I'm not looking. I know you're attracted to me, at least to the human part of me. Even during class, I can feel your eyes on me. But whenever I make eye contact, you look away. Is it because you think it's wrong to like the mean popular girl who's always after you? Huh? Have you ever thought she might like you too? When I know how 
scared you were of me, of what I am. I just couldn't help it. I had to tease you, make fun of you, put you in all sorts of deliciously embarrassing situations so I could get you to blush for me. Yes, I do have a sadistic side of me, but it's all in good fun. Never, ever, ever hated you. Quite the opposite, in fact. I tried to spend as much time around you as I could in school. Remember how you'd so often have an uncanny feeling while you were walking in the street like somebody was watching you? Huh? Yeah, that, um, that was me. <laughs> My species has a habit of stalking the human we intend to claim one day. I wanted to make sure you got home safely. And, uh, I don't know, just seeing you made me happy. You have that effect on me. You're mumbling into your gag again. You want me to remove it, don't you? On one condition. You'll have to let me kiss your lips. Being serious. Nod your head if you agree. This is the only way you'll get back your speaking privileges. The offer is final, my little fly. Take it, or leave it. Okay. Good choice. <laughs> good boy. Such a good boy. Yes, you are. Good boy. My darling little fly. Didn't I just tell you instead of? <sighs> tell me, honestly, would you have accepted me if I just told you how I felt? Are you going to accept me now, even after I've told you? Let me remove your blindfold. Open your eyes slowly. I dimmed the lights in my room earlier. But you must still let your eyes adjust after having been in the dark for so long. Open them slowly. Now. See my face, my long flowing hair that's gently brushing your cheeks, my eyes which seem to draw you in. You find me beautiful, because I am, but then your eyes drift behind me, the part of me you can never ignore, to the eight long, slender legs, and then <sighs> your eyes widen with fear ever so slowly. <sighs> You're still afraid of me, aren't you? <sighs> I 
I always saved your seat beside me in every class. No one else ever sat on that chair. <sighs> I don't know if you were just that dense, or if you now chose not to sit. I notice how you look at my lower half, almost with disgust, like you found me creepy. That's why I always tucked in my legs, so there was less of me to see. I guess, uh, I guess that's why I was a little mean to you. It, well, it hurt me. <laughs> Knowing that someone I cared about so much would find me creepy. <sighs> I'm sorry, I could have dealt with that more maturely. You know why I blindfolded you? Well, yeah. Doing that added a layer of thrill. Because you never know what I'd be doing to you next. But also, I didn't want you to see me as a monster. I just wanted you to think of me. Pretty girl, I was having fun with you. You know, you're still afraid of me, aren't you? It's okay. Getting over your fear takes time. I'm willing to wait for you. It's okay. A thing's happening to me. I'm just taking on my human form. See? Now I only have two legs. anymore, am I? I know I don't have to do this, but I want to, for you. Of course, I want my mate to be comfortable with me. When I know for sure you truly love me, my little fly. However long that takes. <sighs> yeah, I hope so too. <sighs> my poor, sleepy little fly. Would you like me to blindfold you again, or... No? <laughs> okay. I... You can just nestle to my chest then. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'll lie beside you and cuddle you until you fall asleep.
you'll get too comfortable now when you wake up. Should be worried. seen outside the parlor again because a spider left her little fly Mm-hmm. 